Vice President Barry Jagdi is not too happy with Justice Samuel Kisun's ruling in the Guyana Teachers Union government matter. On Thursday, at his weekly press conference, Jagdi said the ruling defies common sense. The government has already signaled its intention to appeal the decision. The Attorney General has indicated that we intend to appeal this matter and we believe that given all that we've said before, that these matters were adjudicated in the past and that you have precedent in some superior courts, not just here but globally, that upheld the principle of no work, no pay. We have also pointed out to rule otherwise would lead to chaos and a nonsensical situation it, that, it defies com, uh, that it defies common sense. Because if a person doesn't work and ha still has the right to receive pay, then who will work? in a country. So the Attorney General has pointed out that by converting the freedom to strike, which is enshrined in our Constitution, because we believe that unions and workers should have the right to withdraw freely their labor if they wish, and if, or, or if their union so decides. But by converting the freedom to strike to a right to strike and then ruling, using that as the, the underlying principle, ruling that people have to be paid for the days when they're striking, we believe that this would lead to chaos in any society. Justice Kisun ruled that a teacher's 28-day strike was legal and legitimate. He also ruled that the wages and salaries of those striking teachers cannot be deducted or withheld. The judge also found that the government of Ghana acted unlawfully and arbitrarily when it decided to discontinue deducting union dues from the salary of teachers for the Guyana Teachers Union. During the ruling, the judge pointed out that based on the evidence before the court that the union followed all the procedures and even wrote letters to the authorities to no avail. Jack Deere said he was surprised that the opposition supported the ruling. They're going to lose this in a major way in the, in the upper courts. We've seen that before. We've had decisions that we've had to appeal. There are many decisions before that we had to get overturned at other levels. And it's going to happen. And, and, and the same people they encourage to strike would then have to get their pay deducted. Not that we are vindictive, but no normal society in the world, anywhere in the world, would have that. Any country in the world, you show me a single country in the world where if you withdraw your labor for a whole year, based on this principle, you never work, that you, you're obligated to get paid forever. And that's why we believe it's a bad, bad decision and secondly I can only go by what I read in the newspapers so I've not read the judgment I asked the Attorney General whether the written judgment has been handed over because we need it for the appeal it was promised by the judge he said he has not received it as yet but I see here in the newspaper in Starbuck News of particular note was President Irfan Ali's meeting with some teachers at State House, which Justice Kisun criticized as not constituting collective bargaining with a recognized union. Now, the President never claimed that this was collective bargaining, but I think it's presumptuous of a judge to tell the President who he should meet and who he shouldn't meet. This is the elected president of Guyana, who is the head of the executive branch of the government, which is separate from the judiciary. 
he, the president can choose at any time to meet whomever he wants to, and for whatever reason, not to have a judge, any judge, for that matter, tell him what he should do or he shouldn't do. They, uh, and what, what it constitutes or not, the president never claimed it was collective bargaining. He has a right to meet the citizens of this country in whatever form or manner he chooses fit to do. The court found on the evidence that the chief education officer, Saddam Hussein, was not full and frank with the court in deposing to the contents of the affidavit in defense which cannot be acted upon or relied upon by the court. The judge pointed to the failure of the chief labor officer to act in a manner consistent with the functions of his office. An important institution contributed to the strike action as there is no evidence of any intervention at any stage during the period after the issuance of the strike action or during the prolonged strike to engage the parties and this highlights a grave failure and omission for which the children of this nation made to endure and suffer.